Hey guys, I have a couple of um, things I want to share with you. Um, there are some altar things I'm ma I've made to send to a friend. Um, we're doing a swap, so she's going to send me some things, and I'm going to send her some things here. And it's been really fun gathering stuff together. And you've seen um, one of the things, but I'll show you that again. But before I get to that, I want to share with this mini sketchbook I made. It's made with a word, um, a word card ring pad, and um, basically we use them to study or and stuff like that in here. And I love that it's on um, grid. But I made it into a sketchbook, so I just added the letters and some stickers. I wrote the. Um, word sketch above the book and then I have this um, random die cut and I put a bling on there and I added this um, piece of paper with and I cut it with my zig mini zigzag scissors and I added this um, ribbon and lace and so I had a fun time to make that. That was um, really fun and I put this in my purse and whenever I go somewhere I write, I make notes or I um, draw my sketches for when I make my cards at home and I love that I can carry this wherever I go. So that's a quick one. I might um, do a really mini tutorial in the future on how to make it for those newbies. So check it out if you're interested in. And um, I had this canister that somebody gave me. I think there were like some cookies or something in it. Well, it was in a package and then it was in the canister. So I kept the canister and um, I just did something really simple to decorate it for sending in the package. And it looks like this. It doesn't go on the side, it stands up like that, but it's really, really simple. I had this doily one, and I used my um, scallop nestabilities to cut that around there, and then I did um, an open scallop doily with my MFT die on the back, and in between I added the washi tape, so I have some silver, and then I have that pink with um, polka dots around, so I love how that turned out. Really simple, and there's some, some stickles and a big bling in the center there. And um, on the top, I just added some of this cool lace. And Sherry sent me that in a rack. And I believe she got it from Carla's Etsy store. Carla's 007, I want to say. So I love that, that tiny lace. I find it really useful when I'm doing projects, especially for altering things. It's so cute. And um, I like to do them instead of cards, because cards are pretty to look at. But I want to use them on things that... Um, like I alter and that will be used um, you'll be able to pick it up and use it so I like to save it for those kind of things so I made this one and this is for somebody with the name L and I think she knows who she is and I put a mini ticket um, die here it's from the mini ticket border strip mini ticket strip border die from MFT and I wrote wish big and that's from the tiny tags collection and then here is this cute little button that I got a long time ago it was a mustache and I just got a pearl there and then I got one of those um, mini doily circles and it comes in the set of four with the different things and then I used um, some plain um, lace that I had in my stash and then I added actually two pieces same as um, the canister here I just added one going down and one going up and then I put some half back pearls down there so really simple fun project I love how that turned out and I used the same paper if you didn't notice that's from the same collection so they match and um, let's see oh I made um, well I bought this from the store and then I just used my washi tape to make it really cool um, down for the top because instead of seeing the label and then I put this down a circle die there so that's fun and I love the pink so I think that'll be fun just some fun way to package and then these are some washi things she wanted to have some washi tape from Japan so I got her this um, multi-pack um, this is a set of three this is a set of two and then I got her this one here which has some cherry blossoms on it and there's just a random stamp I have had um, hanging around and then I got these new stays on inks, which um, I showed you. I can buy in Japan. I think I showed to you, but I had I bought the teal, blue, cloudy sky, and then um, the olive green for me. And then I bought um, a cherry pink, and then um, a 
purple color here and I really love those sizes. And then what I did is I put it in a clear bag and I tied this silk ribbon on it and then I cut out this die. Well, first I cut out the die. And that's the um, really big one from Emma T. And I sprayed it and then I wrote thinking of you here. And then um, I'm going to write a note. I think I'll write a note on the back so then that way if she wants to use this again she can put it on a card or do something. She could just tie or put a clip or a flower to cover up the hole if she wants. And um, she could put it on a card if she wants or use it again. No problem. So that is what I'm sending along with the last one which um, if you guys haven't checked it out before this is my cherry blossom chocolates and I just want to share them because I'm so in love with them and I want to say goodbye so looks like this and then there they are dun dun so these are the that's the big rolled rose dye and then that's the um the medium one and then we got some baby ones and then that's this one, the small one, and then this one are in the same set. And then that's the the next one up, and then that's the jumbo one. And then this is the dizzy doy, uh, no dizzy flower, or loop loopy bloom. Sorry, I like those. Those are really fun to make. This is the prima donna flower, and this is the gardenia. And then I think these are flower trios. And I had some pretty posies, but I don't think I used any for this one. So, but, oh, they're gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? I love these pinks and they're all the leaves. So, they're not going anywhere on their way over to you. And I hope you enjoy your goodies. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And happy scrapping. Bye-bye.